Last night, me and Sandra popped out to see the new Hunger Games, uh, Mocking Jay, Mocking Bird, Mocking fucking piece of shit, whatever it's called. It was so boring. Just so long. Senate upon Senate upon Senate are just people sitting around fucking gassing. It's not EastEnders. It goes on and on and on, and they make it two films. Don't make it two films, right? If you're going to make oh, I'll tell you what we'll do, right? For the last one, I've got an idea. Instead of making like one film that's really good and Andy really enjoys, let's make two films that are really long and boring where no tappens for fucking ages. Yeah, that'll be good, yeah. Because then we can make more money at it, aren't we? Or whatever. You know, that's basically verbatim what a conversation would have been in Hollywood. If I'd have made it, right, what I'd have done, I'd have gone, right, here's a load of teenagers, right, get them in some really skimpy for a start, rule one. That's obvious, fucking have they not seen Jason Goes to Hell. Get them in something skimpy, chuck them a gun, get them shitting each other, right? Get them blowing each other's fucking brains out. Straight away. Don't have all this set up where they're going, oh yeah, I wonder how the Mockingjay should look. We really need to do something with your hair. Oh, should we put her in high heel shoes? Or should... I don't give a shit, mate. I do not care. I want her to look hot, because she is fucking hot, but that's fine. She can wear oats. She wear like, she wear that. She look fucking hot. Shave her head and put a toupee on. She'd be fit, because she is fit. Fine. Leave it at that. Were some good bits. She had three different kinds of arrows. One blue thing up, one set thing on fire. Uh, one just shot you. But to be honest, I could have had like 10 more. He could have had acid. He could have had one more shot a shark. So like you shoot it and then a shark comes out at the end and fucking bites your head off. Um, you could have had one more drilled inside you and just kept going all the way around until you basically, you know, you could have one, you could have a medical one. Say there's someone you want to keep as a hostage, fires at you, cuts you, flies back, sews you up. Do you know what I mean? There's so many more you could do, but they're like, oh yeah, explosion. Oh, what is it? Oh, arrows. Oh yeah, one shoots you, one's fire, and one's fucking blows things up. Brilliant. Have one that's full of spiders. It's Hunger Games, right? First one, we're dead good. It's loads of people shooting each other and chopping each other's heads off. This one, just talking, right? I want to see fucking spiders biting your face off. Right? I want to see a man covered in ants. I wouldn't have had all the blokes looking like that. You know. Well, again, like with Twilight, they're all fucking... Meant to be fucking hard warriors, do you know what I mean? Fucking shave their heads or whatever, make them a bit. Mm, get them fighting with wolves. I mean, the actors actually get them fighting with wolves, then film it. That's what I do. When I go back in my films, my brother Len, uh, you know, I'll, go, I'll, I'll fucking push him in the canal, I'll shove him at cars, uh, I'll fire paintballs at him, I'll uh, throw knives at him, you know. Get him in the mood, get him into it, you know what I mean? Fucking, when they made The Exorcist, they used to fire guns on set, do you know what I mean? Get them scared, don't just give them a load of makeup and like, give them acting lessons, whatever. Throw stuff at them, that's acting. All in all, Hunger Games, mocking thing, uh, 7 out of 10. I don't know if there's an extra bit where you see tits, 8, 9, but otherwise, not as good as it could have been. Andy Parker, good night.